How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I have a live sea urchin over here that I bought from a supermarket. It's about 2.3 pounds at around $6 a pound. So over here it works out to be $14.23. If you go to a Japanese supermarket, you're going to have uni that's all cleaned up for you. It's not live, so it's not going to be as fresh. However, you get it maybe close to about 10 pieces, so maybe twice the amount of this. For twice the amount, it's around $10, so this is a little bit more expensive because it is live. So today I'm going to show you how to extract all the uni pieces. So you can go to the supermarket and if you see an uni that's alive, make sure that it's alive because if it's dead, then you really not should not eat it as sashimi. Or if you find one in the ocean, you can just as well take this out and open it up and eat it live as well. So if you stay a little bit still, you'll see that the tentacles, like the one over here, it's moving a little bit. You see that one or that one right there? See? This might be considered graphic to some, so you may not want to watch further. If you're sensitive to live seafood, then you really should uh, just stop watching now. And uh, well, see you in the next video. So basically now you just have to open it up with the cleaver like this. There's a lot of seawater in here. Just pour those out. And now you can see inside there's a whole bunch of membranes. Basically your job is to remove all this membrane inside because you can't eat all this stuff. Now I'm going to use this fairly large spoon to scoop out one of the five pieces here. Just watch carefully. You see how plump this one piece of uni is? And it's also very large. Lay this right here for now and just take the other pieces first. Okay, let's give it another try and remove another piece here. Got pretty lucky here because this one is fat. Sometimes when you buy it, um, you might not end up with such plump pieces inside. And it's kind of hard to tell if they're going to be fat or not. This is the fourth piece here. This is the fifth and final piece. And unless you have a mutant uni, it's only gonna have five pieces. Everything gone in the inside. This is the mouthpiece thing that I removed. These little black dots is the stuff that's floating inside around there. And this red stuff is the membrane that's surrounding all the uni. And you just rinse it under very light pressure water. You don't want to harm your uni. And just kind of remove all the leftover membranes that's still on there. This piece right here seems to not want to come out and I don't want to ruin the uni so I'm just going to cut it like that. Okay. It seems like this piece isn't fully grown or something. It's not a full piece. When I'm doing this, I want to emphasize care. That's the word of this piece of food here because the more you care you put into it, the more delicious it's going to be. Because see, I cleaned it up perfectly. There's like almost nothing out. And the looks of it has everything to do with how good it tastes as well. 
So this is what it looks like. Live uni is actually a lot, a lot better than what you can get at the supermarket if it's pre-prepared. Live uni tastes more sweet. It's more plump because after they've extracted it and put it in this little wooden container, it seems to start to lose a little bit of juice. Here, when you eat into it, it's like more plump, like all the little cells in there still have the seawater in it. Now, of course, you really need to have a good beer. For some reason, whenever I have really, really good food, such as this live uni, uh, live shrimp or whatever, I just have this urge to drink. Normally, I don't. I, I wouldn't want to uh, drink a beer or anything just for, you know, just having a dinner or something. But when it's something really special, for some reason, I just wanted to um, just have a beer with it. This is an Asahi Dry. It's just something that I happen to have. I know it's not the best beer, but I figured this kind of matches the cuisine because this is sort of sushi, I guess. So now let's have a taste test here. One piece. Mmm. This has a more robust flavor, um, deeper flavor. Sometimes when I do a video along with eating, I cannot fully enjoy myself because I'm right in front of the camera. So let me really try to enjoy one of these pieces at least. So let me just do this. Mm. It's very, very rich. You know, uni tastes kind of like egg yolk, I think, except a little bit different. This thing costed me $14.23 for the whole giant uni. You see it has five pieces here, so each piece rounds out to be $3 a piece. If you go to a sushi restaurant, depending on the level of the sushi restaurant, you're gonna end up paying roughly $25 and up for a live uni, where they would actually take a uni, remove the uni on the spot for you, and put it on top of the little um, spiky uni thing, and serve it to you. Now that's just the starter price. If you go to more high-end sushi restaurants, I'm sure they would charge more than $25 per uni. I feel like I'm almost eating this way too fast. So let me just slow down a little bit. I wanna show you how plump it is by taking a close up like that. See, I mean, You can see over here at this top end that it started liquefying over here. Um, I think I might have damaged it as I removed it, but after putting it on the plate, that's when it started having little bits of liquid here. And this is the stuff that you would lose in those wooden containers if you did not have it live. I know when I was buying this, I was like, man, $14 just for one little uni? I know how little it's gonna come out as, but after having just the two pieces, I'm like rethinking this. I'm like, wow, this is, really worth it actually. So here goes my third piece. Maybe this third piece, I'm gonna chew uh, half of it. If you don't wash it properly, it might have a little bit of sand in it or something. So you really gotta make sure you run the water through um, all the little bits and pieces so that you clean it, clean it up just like, you know, how the sushi restaurant does it. I wanna show the underside of these unis because you normally do not see the underside of it. And because it's so fresh, I can flip it over and you can still see, you know, that it's intact. And there's this little flap over here, like that. And it's still very firm because of its freshness. I realize this is the second time I'm doing an uni video. Mainly, I wanted to do it again because the first uni I bought, it was not that fat. Um, the pieces that came out were, you know, like half as big as these guys. And it's really nice to be able to see, you know, see on camera this fat one so that you know you can see that you know when it's good it's like you know very plump and juicy like this so let me have my fourth piece here mm, having it in two sections is a lot better because you don't just want to stuff your mouth and go whoa, 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 right this gives me the chance to um, really just taste it I think I wanted the beer because if you eat all these five pieces of uni in a row without any to drink, anything to wash it down, then um, it might not taste so good because this beer is a little bit bitter. It contrasts the sweetness of the uni and you can go back and forth and go, okay, drink a little bit of bitterness. And then when you taste this, you can taste, you know, you can see that it accentuates the sweetness of the uni itself and you can taste it a lot better.
Mm, okay, this is the last stretch. It's sad to uh, see the last of it go. Cheers, everybody. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you would do after watching this video. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I have an Audible link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here where you can support my channel directly. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.